This video presentation is represented by electrical4u.com, an online electrical engineering study site. Let us discuss the basic concept of a nuclear power plant. Here, I have drawn a basic three-dimensional view of a nuclear power plant. Please do not compare with actual view of a nuclear power plant. I have just drawn for giving you a basic concept of different parts of this plant, and I have also tried to illustrate the basic working principle of this plant. Before going to actual operation of this plant, let me give you some introduction of this plant. In a nuclear power station, electrical power is generated by nuclear reaction. Here, heavy radioactive elements such as uranium-235 or thorium-232 is subjected to nuclear fission. This nuclear fission is actually the source of heat energy which is utilized to convert water into high-pressure steam. Except this production of heat. The basic operation of this plant is more or less same as coal thermal power plant. In coal thermal power plant the heat is produced in furnace by combustion of coal and in nuclear power plant the same is done by nuclear fission in the reactor chamber. In fission process, the nuclei of heavy radioactive atoms are broken into two nearly equal parts. During this breaking of nuclei, huge quantity of energy is released. This release of energy is due to mass defect. That mean, the total mass of initial product would be reduced during fission. This loss of mass during fission is converted into heat energy as per famous equation E equals mc square, established by Albert Einstein. Let's discuss the components of nuclear power plant one by one. Here I have represented the entire component in their cross-sectional view for better understanding the matter. Now come to the nuclear reactor. As shown, it is located inside containment building. This building is fully airtight to prevent any radiation from nuclear reactor to spread into atmosphere. In nuclear reactor, the nuclei of nuclear fuel, such as U-235 are bombarded by slow flow of neutrons. Due to this bombarding, the nuclei of uranium is broken, which causes release of huge heat energy and during breaking of nuclei, number of neutrons are also emitted. These emitted neutrons are called fission neutrons. These fission neutrons cause further fission. Further fission creates more fission neutrons which again accelerate the speed of fission. This is cumulative process. If the process is not controlled, in very short time the rate of fission becomes so high, it will release so huge amount of energy, there may be dangerous explosion. This cumulative reaction is called chain reaction. This chain reaction can only be controlled by removing fission neutrons from nuclear reactor. The speed of the fission can be controlled by changing the rate of removing fission neutrons from reactors. A nuclear reactor is a cylindrical shaped stunt pressure vessel. The fuel rods are made of nuclear fuel. Uranium moderates, which is generally made of graphite cover the fuel rods. The moderates slow down the neutrons before collision with uranium nuclei. The controls rods are made of cadmium because cadmium is a strong absorber of neutrons. The control rods are inserted in the fission chamber. These cadmium controls rods can be pushed down and pull up as per requirement. When these rods are pushed down enough, most of the fission neutrons are absorbed by these rods, hence the chain reaction stops. Again, while the controls rods are pulled up, the availability of fission neutrons becomes more which increases the rates of chain reaction. Hence, it is clear that by adjusting the position of the control rods, the rate of nuclear reaction can be controlled and consequently the generation of electrical power can be controlled as per load demand. In actual practice, the pushing and pulling of control rods are controlled by automatic feedback system as per requirement of the load. It is not controlled manually. The heat released during nuclear reaction are carried to the heat exchanger by means of coolant consists of sodium metal. After delivering the heat, this coolant comes back to the reactor chamber by means of this coolant pump. Now come to the heat exchanger. As I said, in a heat exchanger, the heat carried by sodium metal is dissipated in water and water is converted to high pressure steam here. After releasing heat in water the sodium metal coolant comes back to the reactor by means of this coolant circulating pump. Next is steam turbine. The high pressure steam is then comes to the turbine through this steam pipe. In nuclear power plant, the steam turbine plays the same role as coal power plant. The steam drives the turbine in the same way. After doing its job, 
The exhaust steam comes into steam condenser where it is condensed to provide space to the steam behind it. This condensed steam comes back to the heat exchanger by means of this pump. The cooling tower associated with the condenser is situated in bottom of the chimney. The water vapor produced during cooling process of hot water of condenser will come out through this chimney. As we see here the cross-sectional view of the alternator. This alternator, coupled with turbine, rotates and generates electrical power for utilization. Thank you. Hope you got a clear and basic idea. So, please do not forget to watch more technical video presentation, and many more, in electrical4u.com.